Who says no, 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 honestly, if you're going to appeal to somebody like a textual scholar, scholar test but hold on, here, hold on, here, here's where it gets serious, because if you're going to appeal to somebody like a textual scholar, why won't you do the same for your Quran? Please tell me one thing. Why is it that the disciples did not quote the fact that Jesus would be pierced? Yahweh means the ever existing one. No, I not. am that I am, Yahweh. That's what I'm saying. I am that I am, the ever existing one. That's what I mean. This is wrong. It's not what it says. It says, I will be with them. That's what Yahweh means. I will be with them. It means, I am that I am. You're adding your own interpretation. I don't want to hear what you have to say, bro. No, it is in the actual translation. You're a lawyer. No problem. Why is it then that you translate the word correctly in the following verse, the verse before? When he says, Tell the. How, how will the people know that it's come in the name of Yahweh? How will they know? How will they know? Tell me. I'm reading from the verse directly because unlike you, I don't, trust I don't care what you trust. I'm going to the translation. Which translation is that? Well, then don't ask me then. Why are you asking stupid questions? I'm going to the translation, bro. This is a translation from the Greek. It's corrupted. So the Greek is corrupted? Yes, 100%. The Greek was written by Jews, bro. The Septuagint was written by Jews, bro. What did they write? What did they write? They wrote the Septuagint, bro. How many of them? How many of them? 70, bro. 70? 70, bro. They were all stoic philosophers. They corrupted the text. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Because, no, no, hold on, you, no, 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 this is stupid. They were stoic philosophers, therefore they were wrong. Of course. You are such an old bro. Bro, you are not bringing an argument. These were Christians, they believed in this text. They were Jews, they believed in this text, bro. So you're going against them. You're going against me, you're going against them. Why is it discrepancy between the Dead Sea Scrolls then? Why is it discrepancy? That's irrelevant to this conversation, bro. Because we're talking about Exodus 3.14, bro. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so you want me to read it? The verse before. All right, read 3.14. Let me get your picture. Then Moses said to God, indeed, you are Then Moses said to God, indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they shout, they, they say to me, what is his name? What should I tell him? So Moses asked him, what, what is the name I should say to him? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, thus, you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent you. I've got the interlinear here just to prove that this is from the Greek. I have the Hebrew, I have the Hebrew here. The Hebrews here, it's the exact same word. Your church has corrupted the translation. They corrupted. Look, the verse before says, but I shall be with you. Where, it's the what exact site did you get that from? What do you mean, what site? I said, well, this is from the Septuagint. This is the Hebrew. So I'm going to read out what the Septuagint actually says, not what you believe, or what you believe the Masoretic says. Yeah? Asha, Heya, Amma. Thus says, thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, I am, Heya has sent you. The ever existing one, Yahweh, has sent you. That's what the verse says. What do you mean I'm done? It, you haven't brought an argument, so you're not going to bring anything to me. I just to proved to you, you haven't brought anything. The verse before has the exact same Hebrew word, and your church translates it correctly. This it is my church that translated it, bro. It is. Except two of the 72s translated, translated it that way. Bro, bro, bro. Origin, you know what I'm saying? No problem. Origin translated the text. You know, my right? text doesn't come from Origin. It does. It, it does. comes from Jerome, you, you idiot. It idiot. comes from Jerome. The, the Latin vulgate comes from Jerome, came, first of all. Bro, origin came before Jerome. Learn your church history. I know where he comes from. From. Before Trump, there was a text, there was a Masoretic text. There was canons that were established before that. There was councils established before that. Don't bring up Jerome like I'm, I'm your jab does and you can't even bring an argument to me, bro. So don't know what you're None of our canons come from Jerome. So I repeat the argument. You don't even know what you're talking about. I never made the claim that Jerome did. I said origin. Our canons don't come from Jerome, bro. Huh? Our canons don't come, come from origin. Okay. Oh, no problem. Where do they come from? Where they come from the Septuagint, bro, as I've read here. Bro, can you tell me what was written in the Septuagint? What was written? What, what books were written in the Septuagint? Do you think the whole thing was Septuagint? No, not the whole thing. There was, okay, there was, well, Exodus was, yeah. And that's the point I'm trying to make. Exodus, the Tanakh was written as well. Uh, the five books, no, not the Tanakh. Ten it says you don't know nothing, bro. I do know something. I do know you what I'm talking about. I do know what I'm talking about. Do you know Hebrew? I, I know more than speak you. Hebrew then. I know more than speak you. Speak Hebrew. I know more than you. Speak Hebrew. I don't need to speak Hebrew. Oh, so you don't know Hebrew? You're telling me I don't know Hebrew. What's angel? What's angel in Hebrew? Malak. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Malak, I know what I mean. No problem, no problem. What is. Wait, 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 no, no, no. We're not playing your games anymore. Because you're ignoring the verse. I don't need to. The verse is clearly Satan, bro. That this is your way speaking. You want to look at the Hebrew? Do you want to look at it? I don't care about your text, we've got books on the Hebrew. He doesn't care about the I've got the Greek text to it right here. The Greek set to it is right here. And you're saying the church your corrupted church it. Corrupted the 70 it. wrote it's this Bible down. I trust them more than you. Greek. 
Greek. I don't even know so what you know. You don't even know anything about it, bro. The Hebrew disagrees with you, bro. It disagrees with you. You don't know Hebrew. It doesn't matter if I know. I can show you. Dude, that. you That's don't it. know Hebrew. You just brought up some picture, bro. I brought up an Italian. You Hebrew brought up some damn picture. You probably got it from an Islamic website. You don't know what you're talking about. Listen, listen. What does Yahweh mean? The ever existing one. What does Yahweh mean? The ever existing one. I've just said that. I know how they play that game. How many times can I say the ever existing one before it gets in your head? Right, no, no, you just, that's not what Yahweh means. Yes, it does. I am that. I am. Yahweh means one. I shall be Eya, with them. Eya, Eya. I will be with them. That's it how means I am that, that I am. Yahweh. You guys I've literally that. read the translation. Don't I don't know what this guy is doing. You I've literally just read the translation. Hey, Asha, hey, I am that I am, bro. It says that means I will be with you, and your church translated correctly in the verse above. But you're corrupted. assuming that you've got no proof. You're just saying the church corrupted. The That's rubbish. That's rubbish, bro. Right, let me show someone else the Hebrew then. No problem. I know you're Christian, so let me show you. Look. So it says one now. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, look, look. Okay, so, verse 13, but I shall be with you. Okay, here's the Hebrew. Hang on a second, let's Hang on a second. No, we're not looking at the passage. Let me just look at the whole passage. Take the book, take the book. No one understands you. No one understands you. And by the way, Bob, I've got the interlinear here, so in case he wants to run. You got a Greek translation, bro. Yes, yeah, so and a Greek translation was done by the Septuagint, so right. The Septuagint really... is corrupted, we've already proven that, bro. You haven't proven it, anything. Bro, that... You've just said it was corrupted. That's not about your nose, is it? Right, it's not like me saying, oh, the Quran's corrupted. Therefore it is. <laughs> Therefore it is. Masoretic text. Masoretic text. Okay, yeah, I understand. I understand. However, however, this verse marries up with the Dead Sea Scrolls. So you're not quoting the Septuagint. It wouldn't do. You're not quoting the Septuagint. Does. You're quoting the Masoretic text. Let me look for something. Check, you're not even quoting the Septuagint. You're quoting the Masoretic text. Who is? Who is? You. You just quoted the Masoretic text. I quote it because it marries up with the Dead Sea Scrolls. Oh, bro. Bro, you don't. Which one? Out of wait. You've got me. You don't even know what you're talking about. Hang on a minute. Out of the Samaritan text, the Septuagint, and the Dead and the Masoretic text, which of those three is closest to the Dead Sea Scrolls? Can you tell me? Which one of those three? One minute, I'm getting a verse on one minute. Do you know? Out of the Septuag Septuagint, Masoretic text, and the Samaritan text, which of those three are closest to the Dead Sea Scrolls? Do you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, the Septuagint is the 70, yeah. It's not. The yeah, Septuagint it's... conforms to only 10% of the Dead Sea Scrolls. There you go, it is a Dead Sea That's irrelevant. Scrolls, yeah. There's other texts in there like Baruch and one no, no, I'm, 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 I'm not saying. I'm not saying. So, no, hold on, hold on. In the Septuagint, that also no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That the There's Semite other writings within. In that within the case of Qumran, there are other writings as well as Baruch and one Maccabees and other stuff like that. Yes, yes. So if you know that, stop trying to add that to the Ports and Canon because it doesn't work. Huh? You just said that that the, Qum, the case of Qumran, the ones in, in the text came to Qumran, don't match up to the ones in Septuagint, right? That's what some you of said. them do, some of them do. Right, some, some of them do. Right, that's some what you're saying. Do. What I'm saying is there are other texts like one Maccabees, two Maccabees, Baruch, that we do not have in the Protestant canon. I know. So if you know this, why are you bringing up that? It's only 10%. No? It's probably way more than that. You just, you're just making up the interpolation. No, 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 this is not me saying it. These are scholars who are saying this, not me. What scholar? I'll show, yeah. I'll show you. Dead Sea right. Scrolls. So what, what, what do you want me to read? Where from? Just, just read from, he said from 11 downwards. Oh, yeah? 11 downwards. That's from Dead Sea Scrolls. Okay, so Moses said to God, who am I? That, oh, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? And that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? He said, certainly I will be with you. This is, will be a token. Be the token to you. That I have sent you. When you have brought, sorry. When you have brought out of Egypt, you shall serve God on this mountain. Moses said to God, behold, when I come to the children of Israel and tell them that the God of your fathers has sent you, God sent me to you, and they ask me what is his name, what should you should I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am, and he said, You shall tell the children of Israel, this I am has sent you. It's the same thing I said to you. Why are you asking me? I understand. That? This is the, this is the Greek Septuagint saying this. Yes. I'm telling you in the Dead Sea Scrolls. This is Dead Sea Scrolls. This is Dead Sea Scrolls. You just said it was Dead Sea Scrolls. Dead yeah, I don't, know, I don't know where you get this from. I don't know where you get this look from. It up. So it was the Dead Sea Scrolls. Yeah, yeah, this is no problem. And that's what I was saying because that's what I understand. Text, it adds because that's no what problem. it says. No problem. As the Masoretic text translates it, it says, I will be with them. But the Masoretic right? text is much later. I you, understand, understand, Do you, you, you know that the Masoretic text, sorry, the Dead Sea Scrolls, contains um, both manuscripts, some for the Masoretic and some that match up with the Greek. Uh, yeah, and not just that, some, yeah, yeah. some are actually later. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. Not yeah, all yeah. of them come from the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah Let me fine. read this to you quickly, okay? Right. However, <coughs> despite these variations, most of the Qumran fragments can be classified as being closer to the Masoretic text I than to any. Okay, yeah. Well, you know, okay, than to any other group that survived. According to Lawrence Schiffman, 
60 uh, percent, like you said, yeah, yeah, yeah. can be classed as being of proto masoretic type, and a further 20 percent from one style with a basis in proto masoretic text, yeah. compared to. 5% Proto-Samaritan, the Samaritan text. Okay, yeah, yeah. 5% yeah. Septu Septuagint. Yeah. Okay, and 10% non, non aligned Just okay. that conforms to nothing. Yeah. Okay? I understand that obviously there are some fragments in there that come from later or somewhere yeah, earlier. Yeah. Yeah. My point to you, and I have to look at this again, by the way. I'm, okay. I might be wrong in this respect. I might be wrong. Okay? When it comes to which one conforms more, it is a mathematic text. It's called a scholarship, not me. Right? Not, not according to me. Right. In this situation, maybe it conforms more to you, possibly. But as a whole, I'm going to take the one that conforms more as a percentage and the ones that right, what, are, you, irrespective of what you've done is you quoted one scholar and you cited that scholar as the, as the be all and end all of all historical okay, scholars. Look, look up who he is. We've, we've got people like Dan Wallace. He, he Hold on one minute. We've got people like Dan Wallace saying the Septuagint is reliable. It's just as reliable. Dan Wallace is no New worries. Testament scholar. Yeah, yeah, I acknowledge that. The so truth, I, 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 I will agree with him more than I'll agree with you. And, so and the right. truth is, but he said six months straight away. I didn't, the New Testament quotes from the New Testament actually match up more with the Septuagint. Because they were using Septuagint. Well, right? but they say that, yes. or possibly even another text that they don't have now. That's that's what they've said. But at least it it's in the vein of the Septuagint. I hear you. Yeah, hear you. That, that is what it's. Let me ask you guys one question about yeah, yeah. Psalm 22. Yeah. Psalm 22. Psalm 22. What's Psalm 22 about? Is it a foreboding of something? Is it a prophecy? What do you think Psalm 22 is about? Um. I, I, well, Jesus obviously relates to it when he's uh -huh. when he's on the cross. He relates to it. He says, uh -huh. uh, well, well, for forgive me for our, yeah. Let me let me, let me, let me read it up again. Yeah, let me read it because I, I want to make sure I'm being of honest. Course, with no, 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 of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry, so sorry, I came in a bit heavy before. Yeah. No, no, it's all right. Everyone was shouting. Yeah, 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 everyone was shouting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. All right, so I'll, I'll read from the verse. Can I read through it all just yeah, to make sure? Whatever you want to do, bro. Okay, so to the chief musician, set to the deer of the dawn, a psalm of David. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus quotes on the cross, right? Yeah, yeah, he quotes on the cross. Why are you so far from helping me? and from the words of my groaning. Oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not hear, and in the night season I am not silent, but you are holy, enthroned in a place of praise of Israel. Our fathers trusted in you, they trusted and you delivered them. They cried to you and were delivered. delivered. They trusted in you and were ashamed, but I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men. So Jesus described himself, we believe that. Because he's on the cross. But anyway, let me read it. And despised by the people, all those who see me ridicule me. That's what happened at the cross. The Roman guards were ridiculing well, all the of them. The guy on the other cross, depending on the gospel, was actually with him. The other guy that was being well, there was there was still in every instant there was still people ridiculing. Not all of them were just like it, it, it doesn't matter whether it's all of them because I at the end of the day they were instant ribbing. Even before the child at the child Cap Caiaphas, they were mocking him. They put a phone on his head and he, Pilate so was with him in that case. Yeah. Pilate, Pilate was on his side. Go ahead, keep going. He trusted in the Lord. Let him rescue him. That's what they said to him on the cross in one of the accounts, right? Yeah. Let him deliver him, since he delights in him. Yep. But you who are, he who took me out of the womb, yep. you made me trust while on my mother's breast. Yes. I was a cast upon you from birth. I, from was my, I was cast upon you from birth, from my mother's womb, because obviously we know Jesus had a mother because he became incarnate in flesh. Yes, yes, yes. You have been according my God. Be not far from me. God is the God of all flesh, by the way. Yep, yep. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have surrounded me. Strong bulls of Bashan have encircled me. So this is going on. They gape at me with their mouths like yeah. a raging what and What have surrounded him? What have, what have surrounded him? Many bulls have surrounded bulls? me. Bulls? Strong bulls of Bashan. Okay, keep going. They gape at me with their mouths like a raging and roaring lion. I am poured out like water. This is what happened when, obviously, like Longinus has put the spear inside of me. the Gospel of John, yeah. yeah. I am poured out like water and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It has melted within me. My strength is dried up like a potsherd. This is describing Jesus on the cross. And my tongue clings to my jaws. Again, describing the cross. You have brought me to the dust of death. For dogs have surrounded me. The congregation of the wicked has enclosed me. They pierce my hands and my feet. No, it's they pierce the hands and feet of Jesus. That's what I want. I want this. Go ahead. I can count all my bones. They look, at me, look and stare at me. They divide my garments among them. And for my clothing, they cast stops. That's what they did in, in your testament. Yeah. 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 I don't think it was just John, I think. Just John. That one's just John. Wait. Uh, so I'm per to per se, I'm not, I'm not too sure about that. I know for a fact. I'll, I'll, read, I'll, read, for it, it, I'll read for it again anyway. No but if, if I'm wrong, then anybody can call it a passage. Or JC, oh, if you want to bring up a question. Thingy, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah so, but you, O oh Lord, do not be far can from me. Can I be heard in this? Or? Yeah, you can. You can. Sure, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Obviously. No worries, no worries. Go on. Deliver me from the sword, my precious life, from the power of the dog. 
Save me from the lion's mouth and from the horns of the world. Now, okay. Satan is called the lion, a roaring lion in the Bible. I'll stop you there. Yeah. Okay, okay, good, good, good. So, we read through Psalm 21. No, we haven't read through it all. Oh, not all of it, all of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we've read through it. Yeah. Right? Not all of it, obviously. Yeah. But we're redacted a bit of it. Now, tell me, who do you think it's referring to? You believe Jesus, yes? Yeah, we believe okay. Jesus. Okay. Do you know what the Jewish understanding of that is? Um, who do you, who I, I, I think they believe it's Israel. I've heard some Jews say that. David. They so believe they believe it's David. Of course, of course they would. Of course they would. Yeah, I understand. I understand. We, we know, yeah. yeah but, but what we don't see is David being pierced or even on a cross or his, his clothes cast fell off. We don't see that anymore. One second now. The, yeah. pi the piercing now. The piercing is what we want to talk about. Yeah. What do the Dead Sea Scrolls say about this? What, what word is used in the Dead Sea Scrolls? Brother, if you can get the Dead Sea Scrolls up, 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 up. I, want the, I want the Hebrew. I want the Hebrew. I'm going to get mine up. I'm going to get okay, mine up. I this one, have this, this translation is in, is in English. I don't read Hebrew. Yeah, so. none of us read Hebrew. Not, not even you, mate. So, uh, no, no, I don't read Hebrew. I know right. there is contention over it. Is this Soko's one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know one more thing, one more thing, yeah? yeah. Have you not realised, like, people inspired to that? As people, the main Jewish religion that we all go on about, everyone's bothered about, yeah? Do you know how many lives that's cost people? No, no, it's, it's not true. Just kill each other over it. Just be kind each other religion. General Mao killed well, people and he was an atheist. One religion. Uh, General Mao killed 10 million people. Who did? Uh, General Mao. Yeah. He was an atheist. Uh, Joseph Stalin killed about 20 million people. Yeah, Joseph Stalin. Atheism. And Lenin as well, he huh? killed me. It's an atheist, not a religion. Yeah, no, atheism system. is it's a belief system. Atheism is a belief system, but it's yeah, not a religion. Atheists will disagree with you. Atheists will disagree with you, my friend. Some, some people have made no, 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 because again, it's the belief in no God. The Bible says, fear so you tell us he who right can way. destroy right not way. just oh, body, but body and soul in hell. Yeah, we just No, 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 no. Yeah, Psalm 22, we don't, we don't. I ain't got it in the Hebrew, I've only got it. Oh, you've only got it, you haven't got it in the Hebrew. I'll get it from the Dead Sea Scrolls. Yeah. Have you ever killed anyone? Have you ever killed anyone? I, you Are you you I think the problem with you, you divert the subject. So if you don't want to talk, you can, and we'll just wrap up. Because I, I don't think, right. Yeah, because they're talking to each other and we're not getting anywhere. Are you not finished? Because we actually want to get to the point. Because you lot are talking about something that's real. Sorry, sorry. Okay. He's going to get the, um, the translation up, then I'm going to show you. The word that's used is Kari. Kari means lion for the word piss. The Christians, one Canadian scholar, I can't remember his name right now, he's the one that put this contention forth that it actually means piss. The Hebrew is actually piss. But there's no way it can mean piss. It's not even the correct word. This is the word here. Right, you can see it there. That's the word of contention. Right, this is piss. If there was going to be piss, there would have to be a few extra letters on there. The word is lion. So it's not, they pierce my hands. It's they're at my hands like a lion. Well, for, first of all, what? No, no, hold on one minute, because you're making a lot of interpolations. I've got to stop you there. What, te what scroll have you got that from? Because you, you're showing me a scroll on this uh, scroll. It's the scroll, bro. This is the scroll. It's the look, scroll. Look, 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 look. Because it, it looks like you've, you, you've watched a video, no offence, you've watched a video yeah. and you've taken something from that video yeah, and you've brought it. That's come from the Masoretic text. So if it's come from the Masoretic text, again, we already agree that the Septuagint, we agree with it. Let's read it, let's read it, let's read it. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll the, scrap from Psalm, oh, the scrap from Psalm 22 found at Nashel Heba is uh, 5, 6, I don't know what HEV is or I don't know what that means. Fragment 9. Okay, with me, the No worries. With the text under investigation from Psalm 22, 17 in hand. In hand here, yeah? Yeah. This is the this is the word of contention. This cannot mean pierced. This cannot mean pierced. And, 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 and this is from the Masoretic text, right? No, this is from the Dead Sea Scrolls. No, no, he's saying it's from the Masoretic text. No, no, so he's, he's, no, if he's saying that, it's incorrect. This is from the Dead Sea Scrolls. Right. Alright? Again, again, I'm, I'm, I'm just noticing so because I'm trying to be as honest as I can. No worries. No and I'm trying to work out what's going on. Because at the end of the day, you've come with a basically a, a neutral thing, right? <laughs> I could easily do that, go to Jason. I understand, I understand. But, like, but what am I supposed to do? Bring a book to you? I can't bring the Dead Sea Scrolls. No, no, I don't want you to bring a book to me, but like, honestly, like, it's just a screenshot. The burden of proof you're kind of putting on me is kind of ridiculous, to be honest. No, 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 you just brought a screenshot, though. Like, no worries, man. No so worries. anyone's going to do that, I then I might as well. Can I make one more point? Because I've got a lot of screenshots that are a few of the Quran. If you want to go through them, you can. If you, you want to talk about the Quran? If you want. If you want to talk about it. No, no, no. Let's obviously. finish this one. Let's we'll finish, finish your point and then we'll go through it. What verse was that again? Give me the verse. Psalm 22. Psalm 22. Uh, not 17. It's no, uh, so, yeah, 17. 22, 17. No, no, it's not. It's not 17. If that's 17, that's wrong because it's, it says here. Wait. 16. It says 16, right? No, no, it doesn't say. Yeah, no, no, it does say. 16. Do you know why? Do you know why? Yeah, this one's 16. Do you know why? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. This, this, this is this is this is proof, by the way, that your book has been corrupted. Wait, no, 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 no. Hold on. So, so you bought you bought a passage from from chapter. Wait. 22, 17. 17, and I've got this. But 17 says, I can count all my bones and they and look and stay. The Septuagint, they brought, they've, they've deleted a verse before that, right? So they've started the chapter, and it's for a theological reason. They've started the chapter earlier. 
I can't remember the reason why. Don't ask me. I, I, I don't know where you're getting that from. I'm being honest. I don't know I where mean, you're getting it's that from. I mean, it's 17. Because, yeah, but it says 17 on here as well, and 17 is really different. I know, I know. And this is the Septuagint I'm reading. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. All right, all right, forget that, forget that. Let me ask one more question. So, if, oh, the, contention, another question. Right, if the contention is, look, I will grant you, uh, I will grant you Pierce. I'll grant it. All right. right. For the sake of argument, I don't believe it says uh, Pierce. I believe it says. But lying. you have to bring more evidence to prove that. And so no far, problem. you saw me a, a burst out of context, which no may problem. not be the first that we're talking about. Okay, okay. Do you think that no problem? Now, let me let, let me just say one more little caveat thing. Right. The gospel writers were they quoted from the Septuagint? Yes or no? Oh, well, I would say yes, they were. From, from what I know. From what I know, yeah. Mainly from the Greek. No words. Yeah, they're going from the Greek. And, and John yeah, was yeah, Greek yeah. as well. John, yeah. gone, gone spoke Greek, and he translated his gospel into Greek as well. So he knew it Greek. was the lingua franca anyway. Yeah. 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 That's obviously the scripture as well. We get that. Right? I would say it. Aramaic. I would say it, but. Right, right. So, we all agree that the Old Testament was being quoted, yes, by the, by the disciples. The yeah. The, the, if you believe the, that they wrote the gospels, then they were quoted the scripture, yes? Yeah, they were. They were no worries. Okay, if you, if you believe that, no problem. Now, it is very obvious there are many prophecies in the, in the New Testament referring to the Old Testament, correct? Yeah. We, we, we can agree, okay? Yeah. No worries. Now, please tell me one thing. Why is it that the disciples did not quote the fact that Jesus would be pierced? And they quote this passage. Jesus quotes it, apparently, when he's on the cross, saying, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He's referring to Psalm 22. Why has he not mentioned the piercing? Because this no, is no, even no, more- Because the disciples who wrote it after wrote that text out. That's really, a, it's not really an argument. No problem. Because the, the, the people who wrote down the, the New Testament, yeah. obviously, obviously attributed that verse to Jesus issue? Christ. Do you understand my issue? Do you understand my issue? I do, I do, I do, no, I do understand that's what the thing. I don't saying, understand what but yeah. we also have to be honest with the text yeah. and, and what they've quoted rather than saying it's dishonest or they were trying to hide Yeah, they're not so, trying to hide anything. For instance, they've only quoted the beginning of Psalm 22. Yeah. Some Muslims will advance the position that because only the beginning is, 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 is cast, that Jesus was forsaken. But he wasn't because... I don't when, say that. I, don't I know, I know, I know, and, and I respect that you don't. But obviously, when you go through the whole passage of Psalm 22, at the bottom, Jesus says, well, it says within the passage, it's a messianic passage, yeah. that he was heard. The bulls of battle surrounded him, and he was in a desperate position, but he was heard. Yeah. So that would be that would be how we would view it. And there's many there's many verses like this, bro, where you get into like passages like Mark 1, 1, for example, where Mark's quoting Isaiah 40, verse 3. Yep. Right? It's quoting that to refer to the Lord coming to, coming to his temple and John. Well, you can believe that, that's fine, that's your belief. But he's still quoting that. He's only quoting a bit of it, he isn't quoting the whole of Isaiah, yeah. he's just quoting a bit of it. But to prove the point that this was the Lord who was coming to his temple, to prove that point. So yeah, they're, they're, these are Jews, by the way, they're quoting from the Old Testament. So they know what they're doing, right? And you uh, believe it's Jews, you're right here. Obviously, I don't believe that it was Yeah, Jews, it was right? Jews, because Jesus, believe, Jesus was a Jew and his followers. Yeah, I, no, I understand the storyline, I get the storyline, but my contention, that's not even my contention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, your Quran says they were Jews. Yes, your, I, your Quran says that. Yes, but you, so you're if, if you're going to negate the Quran, then... No, no, you're missing a caveat here, right? The idea is, I believe those people might have been Jews, or Bani Israel, I believe that. Right. However, I don't believe these are the people who transmitted those words that you have in your YouTube. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, so no, hold on, hold on. Brother, 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 if you're, you're, you're going to say that, though, if you're going to say that, though, then you've got to negate the Quran, because according to chapter 3, verse 55 of the Quran, Allah says he will make superior those who follow Jesus I know, Christ. I know but who followed Jesus well. Christ? No worries. Historically, you, people followed Jesus so, Christ. So, 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 can I just ask a question? I know you're going to say no, no, Nassara, no, no, but that's... It's just made, one quick one. He's made, he's made a claim. I, have to I, I need to just interject this quickly. It's very okay, simple. I'm keeping that in mind. You know the Quran talks about the Injil then. Would you, would you, would you submit then, because it's talking of an Injil, which uh, Injil in, in Greek, the, from the transliteration, would mean gospel, or would you say that the Injil then would be something different that wouldn't agree with that? Can I answer his first and answer okay, yours? Yeah, yeah, sure. got, yeah, yeah. Now I've got your answer. Yeah. I've heard the question many times, yeah. don't worry, I'm not okay. going to Okay, so, when it comes to, what was the point I was making with you? Oh, uh, yeah, it was yeah, chapter 3, verse 55 of the, the Quran. Most, right? that, the yeah, that they would be superior no to those who lack faith, okay. that's what it says. So, if we read the text here, right, the exegesis, the one that was transmitted by Ibn Abbas. Oh, Abbas, yeah. Ibn Abbas, you know Ibn Abbas, right? Yeah, yeah, I know Abbas. So he's, he's our first new person, our first uh, exegete of the Quran. The but he's not your only one. No, no, it's not your only one. But there's there's Kafir as well. Right. There's Kabir as well, Ibn Kabir. But Ibn Kabir comes much later and he's quoting Ibn Abbas, along with other people right. as well. Right, I know. Ibn, Ibn Taymiyyah and, and other stuff. Yeah, right. yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got it. So, when it, comes, when it comes to this verse, what's being referred to is they were victorious in the coming of the Muslims, the ones who re-established Tawheed, the ones who re-established the oneness of God. This is how those people, the disciples, were uppermost. Through us, we are the ones who have made them. Right, but the verse doesn't say it. It says the people who follow Jesus. I understand, I understand. It doesn't say anything about those who follow Muslims. It doesn't say anything about that. It says the people who follow Jesus. I understand. And, I've got, I've got, and that's, that's, why, that's why he says here. Wait, let me just call it. Oh, crap. Sorry. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right. That, that's why he literally says, could you, oh. <laughs> this phone's been playing up a lot. No, it's okay. it's, but remember, this is an English translation. You know, yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know. To classical scholars who knew the Arabic, understood the I know, but we've got people like, and this is why I want to show you as well, because whilst we can talk about 355, and I'm not going off topic of 355, even in Surah 548, we've got classical so scholars affirming that Muhammad, which I remember, I think it was you, who brought up Muhammad to me and asked him what Muhammad is. I think, I think it was you or it was somebody else. I can't remember. Okay. I don't think I've ever spoken Okay, so by, 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 basically in, in 548, yeah, the word Muhammad is used. And people, What's Muslims Muhammad believe, now? Muslims believe, well, let, let me just explain what Muslims believe. Muslims believe that that verse means to be like a cannon or a, a goalpost or a goal, basically. And that the Quran is the, is the highest goal, right? But the earliest, the earliest response is like, Ibn al quote Kurtubi, and others, Qurtubi, yeah? yeah, actually believe it was it was a view of it. It wasn't a so. Let me let me yeah, quote. Right. Sorry. By the way, Qurtubi is not infallible, so we don't we don't take every, we don't buy blind follow I, I, I've got two others. I've yeah, got yeah. two others. So let me let me just get it off you. And uh, by the way, Ibn Qurtubi came much much Qurtubi. He came much much later. He's right. 1400s, bro. 1400s. I, I'm 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 just I'm not no, even no, pointing. He's, he's a good I'm, scholar. He's a big scholar. He's a big scholar. Right. I agree. I, I can see that. The point I'm making to you is that we don't blind follow him, and he came much much later. But I'm, I'm not just going to quote him. I'm going to quote others as well. No worries. Just to, just to show his success. Oh, come on. But Muhammad means overseer, yeah? You know that, right? It means the criterion over something. Well, it, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that, and that's what I was going to show. Because I've got, I've got verses from Ibn Kafir as well, which I'm going to get up with yeah. this false. Ibn Kafir is much later as well. He's, he's in the 1300s, bro. Okay, but uh, again, right, I remember Origin was quoted by a man jumped to see it. Right? I remember Origin was quoted by Muhammad and Jam. And that was referred to Jewish text, and he tried to use it. So I, I'm just doing, I'm using his method. But, right? but origin was closer to your, your, to your beginning state with Jesus than, than Ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn Kathir are to Prophet Muhammad so I'm saying, our, our gap is not as big as yours when it comes to origin and your, your genesis and Ibn Taymiyyah and our genesis, or according to me and our genesis. So okay. That's my point, that's my point. No, 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 I see your point. One minute, one minute, one minute. Let me just... Okay, so this is this is from Sorry, this is from <laughs> uh, yeah yeah so it's all right, all right, let's move it. Okay, so this, this is a quote from this is a quote on sorry yeah yeah yeah. yeah. So this is a quote from Tafsir. Hey, no dogs, yeah, no dogs at the bottom, yeah. No dogs, no dogs. There's not going to be any dogs at the bottom. So this is a Tafsir, and this is this is from uh, Ibn Taymiyyah. Ibn Taymiyyah. Yeah. First of all, it reads this. So, Umar ibn al khattab brought to Allah's Messenger a copy of the Torah and said, Allah's Messenger, this is a copy of the Torah, so he's basically giving him a copy of the Torah, he doesn't yeah, stipulate yeah. what it is. He, Allah's Messenger, kept quiet and he, Umar, began to read it. The color of the face of Allah's Messenger peacefully went, underwent a change, whereupon Abu Bakr said, Would that your mother mourn you, you don't see the face of Allah's Messenger. Of Allah's Messenger said, I seek refuge with Allah from the wrath of Allah and the wrath of his messenger. We are well pleased with Allah as Lord, with Islam as religion and with Muhammad as a prophet. Whereupon Allah's messenger by him, his hands, so he sent him, he's, he's basically sent him a copy of the Torah, right? And he's basically reading yeah? Yeah. So it's Umar second caliph of Islam. Yeah, yeah, so he sent him a copy of the Torah, he's, he's reading it. So let me read it. He sent it or he brought it to him? He brought it to him, he okay. brought it to him. Whereupon Allah's messenger said, by him in whose hand is the life of Muhammad, even if Moses were to appear for you, and you were to follow him, leaving me aside, you would certainly stray into error. For if Moses were alive now, he would he would find my pro prophetic ministry and he would definitely follow me. So he's basically saying if Moses were alive now, we follow him. Yeah, no so problem. this gets no to the point where Al Jalalain comes in. So yeah, 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 Al Jalalain yeah. is another person. Yeah, he's a big one, yeah. And this is regarding 448, 446 or 448, right? And we caused Jesus, son of Mary, to follow them in their foot, follow in their footsteps. That is the prophet's footsteps. Confirm the Torah before him. And we gave to him the gospel, wherein is guidance and from error and light, yep. and exposition of rulings, confirming Musadakin, which is, a, it says circumstantial qualifier, I think that was in the translation, to Torah before it. Rulings contained therein, and as a guidance and an Im, Im, admonition to the God fearing. So it's basically saying that this is a guidance to the belief. The, the Torah. The Torah yeah. and the Torah, yeah. Yeah, the Torah and the Injil. That was there to Said the so. Let the prophet of the gospel judge according to what God has revealed therein. Of rulings, a very weird, yeah, that, that's just addition. That's been added. It's added in brackets. Okay, no Whoever does not judge according to what God has ruled, those are the wicked. He's basically saying anybody who does not judge by the Torah and the gospel is wicked. I've got this from also from our, our judge of So this is further in, in the text. So this is 47 or 48. Okay. What? 
And we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, the book, the Quran with the truth, Bil Haq, is semantically connected with an Anuzah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not Arabic word. Wait. Okay, say the word again. Anuz, Anzal, no. Anzal, no. Revealed, yeah. We have revealed, confirming a book that was before it. So it's confirming the book that was before it. It's not saying that the book's... Allah is no, saying that about the Qur'an, yeah? That it's, it's confirming what came before. Is that what he's saying there? No, no, he's, he's saying that the book's before it. He's saying the Quran itself confirms the book's before it. Confirms, confirms it. it, no worries, right, yeah. Right. Confirming the book that was before it and watching over it, testifying to it. The book means scriptures. So judge between them and between the people of scripture. If they take their case before you according to what God has revealed. Yep. Yeah? Yep. Uh, do not follow their whims, deviate from the truth that has come to you, every, to every community, to every one of you, or communities. We have appointed a divine law and a, a clear way and a clear path of religion. So he's saying he's, he's, he's appointing this divine law and his clear way of religion, right? Yeah. If God had willed, he would have made one, you one community. So he would have made the Jews, the Christians, the Muslims one community. Yeah, yeah. He if he had willed. If he had willed. But he didn't will it. Neither did your God, though. Let's be fair, isn't it? Well, Clearly. Not, Clearly. Not in the same way, because he, he hasn't said that he sent a book to each one of the people. He's only sent one book. No, 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 but you can't be saved in your religion by the blood of Christ, correct? So You cannot be saved in your religion. There's no salvation. There's no salvation without, 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 without belief and acknowledgement of the salvific atonement. Correct? Yeah, yeah, okay. but the, the same no. thing with, with your with your Quran, No, bro. not the same thing. No, no, it is the same thing, because the problem it's is... Not, I'll tell you no, what. no, the problem is, bro. Let me finish. The problem is, with your Quran, bro, it's claiming things like, oh, Allah sent down the Torah and the Gospel. It's claiming that it sent down books before it. My, uh, so the God of the Quran, the God of the Quran. The New Testament confirms that as well. Yeah, so but it, it confirms it because it is the God of the, the Old Testament. It's not, it's not coming out saying, oh, we have sent these things believe, down. You believe it's the same God, yeah. No, 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 we don't believe that. That's just what the text says. That's what, it's, that's what it says. So it's, it's a belief, it's a belief, but it's all, it also matches up with the messianic text. What text says that? What, what text says that in my, in my New Testament? Yeah, yeah. What? So, uh, you're saying your New Testament confirms the one that, that they have the same God, correct? Is that what your New Testament says? Well, it, it says the, well, it basically says that Jesus confirms the, the Father, the Jewish Father at the time of the Old Testament. It says that in your New Testament. It doesn't say those exact words. So but I'm going to say there's a rendering of it. There's a rendering of it. There's a, there's a rendering of it. Okay, because no basically, no he's basically confirming what no the Jews thought of so the Messiah. The same God? So, um, do we believe in the same God, me and you? Me, me and you don't believe in the same okay, God. Okay, no problem. Because wait a second, Muhammad wait a is a later invention. I understand, I understand. Right? So is Jesus. Jesus came way after Malachi. Anyway, that's the so, That's point. irrelevant. Malachi no, wasn't the Messiah. You just used the point against me. No, but Malachi wasn't the Messiah. Huh? It's in, in, so, for example, it's in, in Quran 7, 157. Yeah. Muhammad says that if, if, like, I'm in the Old Testament. I'm in like, the New Testament. Sure. He says he's in, the, sure. he's in the, the, the Torah and the New Testament. That's what he's saying. The Torah, right? yeah. He's claiming to be in his books, right? He's yeah. claiming he was in his books, right? But nobody sees him, right? He's not mentioned. He's not a messianic yeah. figure either. But just like how the Jews don't see Jesus, you know, you guys don't see Muhammad. But again, can, but like, again the, the messianic figure, but here's the problem. The messianic figure the Jews disclaimed was fulfilled by Jesus Christ. And they admit this. They admit, they admit that in torn their tradition, right? The se before the second temple was destroyed, yeah? yeah? There would be a Messiah coming. But they just rejected Jesus. Yeah, there's no problem. There's no, there's no problem with that. So there's a difference between yeah, a, messi yeah, a messianic yeah. prophecy yeah. that Jesus is wholesale fulfilling. Jesus is also a prophet. Rather than Muhammad, one minute, rather than Muhammad claiming that he's in the Old Testament and New Testament, we can't find him anywhere and he's not mentioned anywhere. In no, fact, no, every, no, everywhere no, you no, love, show me where he's mentioned. The only point it's actually pointing to Jesus. No worries. The only point I was making was that if you made the claim, I hear Christians made this claim all the time, that your right. prophet came 600 years later or 500. He was born 570, right? So 500 years later, okay? And right. then, but I'm just saying I could put the same thing back onto you and say that the, the gap between Malachi and Jesus is the same. You see what I'm saying? It's also 500 years. Jesus right, but that's the, what I'm saying. The, the what problem with claiming that, bro, is that we have testimony from Jews. These were not just random people. You believe These were Jews. You believe you. These were even people who were, who were de they themselves, um, what were they called? Teachers. So they were teachers in the law schools. They left their religion Wait, to embrace who, who Christ. Was the teacher of the law? Pharisees, Pharisees were teachers, and some Pharisees, Pharisees the left their religion and became Pharisees. Yeah, Pharisees became Christian, yes. Give me some, one, give some, me one name. Give me one name. Give me one name. One name. Say again. Okay. Who was a Pharisee? This is the and only name you're going to give me. Nicodemus. Nicodemus as well, obviously. Came to speak to Jesus. Yeah. Nicodemus is a Greek. Nicodemus is a Greek. Look, that's, that's irrelevant to the point. No you asked whether no there's a Pharisee, no and I've showed you. Yeah, okay. Well, so he Paul. showed you. Right. right. Oh, I don't want to get into Paul now, man. We're going to keep deviating. I'm not deviating. I'm trying to get you to the point where you understand that your, your God affirms the Old Testament. I get your point. All right. So, and so, so, so what, from what I've read here, we've got Al Jalaleng saying that it affirms the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. We've also got Al Kurt to be saying it affirms the Old Testament. Do you know Testament why this verse well. was revealed? And we've got here, here Ibn Abbas. So I'm going to read this. Oh, Ibn Abbas. Let's hear what Ibn Abbas has to say. And he's being quoted where? Ibn Abbas in this situation. I'm just, I'm just getting out because obviously I have to go through the. Do you know if they're going to be showing the game? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You're watching. You're not I, 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 I'm not really into football. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to read Al Jalalain right. first, and this is on 691 because it's obviously used. It's, it's used before, uh, many times by Muslims. That 691 means that the Quran's corrupt. No, the Bible's corrupted. He's not, not saying. Just that one, the one in Surah Baqarah as well. Okay, so this is. Yeah, I've heard of the one in Surah Baqarah. It's just 297. 297? Two, two, no. two, 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 yeah, 297. Two, 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 so Al Jalalain says this. They, that is this. So, so, says this well. so that is the Jews. Yeah, so Al Jalalain says this. They, that is this. So, so that is the Jews measured not God with his true measure. So they're claiming that he, doesn't, he, he didn't measure God with his true measure. They have not extended. Wait, who are you calling? Who are you calling? I'm calling Al Jalal Link. And he's calling Ibn Abbas? Right, it, it doesn't say he is. Okay, just keep going. Keep going, keep going. That's the thing, I've got this on the, this is on the Tafsir site, by the way. Jalal Link's way, way later as well, by the way, just so you know. That's fine. Like, I, I remember Muhammad Al Jab came in and he quoted his origin. And no, I can say, oh, he's much later, it was 200 no worries, years later. No worries, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I got nothing, sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah. Al, Al Jalal Link, they, that, that is, the Jews, measured not God with his true measure. That is, they have not attained the true knowledge of him. When they said to the Prophet, disputing with him about the Quran, God has not revealed anything to, to any more. Say Sem, who revealed the book which Moses brought a, a light and a guidance for mankind? Question mark. You put it in, in all three instances of verbs, read either the verb, read the first, so this is an interpolation added by the translators. You put it on parchments, that is, you write it down on fragments of notes which you disclose. So they're saying that there's things disclosed. Yeah. But what is disclosed? Ah, right? keep going. Right, so what is disclosed? Is what you choose to so so on, on parchment that is written right down with the hadith that confirms this, by the way. on fragments of notes which you disclose that is what you choose to disclose thereof, yeah. but you hide much of what is in them as of the case of the descriptions of Muhammad. So he's saying saying about the description of Muhammad as, that as, the Jews as, as in on top of what you're hiding in this moment. It's, it's not saying as. So let me no, read no, it again. As, that's why he's saying, saying as. All right, that's, so that's not really. A, that doesn't demolish your point. That's not, you know, I'm not. That on the part that point. is you write down on fragments of notes which you disclose is what you choose to disclose thereof. But you hide much of what is in them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you're, yeah, right, yeah. you're right, you're right, you're right. No worries, no worries. Keep going, keep going. In the case of the descriptions of Muhammad. And you have been taught, old Jews, in the Quran, what you did not know. So this is still talking about Muhammad. This isn't right. talking about anything to stop. Right. Yeah. No, neither you nor your fathers in the Torah, through the elucidation therein of what you were confused about and just over disagreeing over. Say God revealed it, and if they do not say it, there, there is no other response. So he's saying basically, like, if God revealed it, then say they don't have a, don't have a I problem. Get your point. I get your point. No, and, and that's that's my point. If, if we've got a we've got a tough set right claiming. Yeah. That this is not this is not primarily though, the whole thing's corrupt at at all. It's claiming that the, the things about Muhammad not in there, and I think I've got a bass saying the same thing. I'll tell you what Ibn Abbas says. All right. So now the, the reason for this revelation, the the asbab and the the reason for why it came down was because when the, when the Prophet was living in Medina, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was living in Medina, in yeah. Medina, right? Go the city, right? They had to make hijrah from Mecca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. All right. So he had to go there. Now he he had good relations with the Jews at first. At what? first. Okay, until they committed treachery in a few situations. We can get to that later if you want to. Um, when that happened, and they, they used to come to the Prophet in order for him to arbitrate, right? Right. They used to come to him in order, like, if there's a problem going on with this clan, right, we want you to try and sort it out. I right? try and, you know, help us come to some sort of understanding. So, there was a man who committed adultery. Okay? Right. You know what adultery is, right? Yeah, yeah I know yeah. what adultery is. Someone who's married and then he has relations. Yeah, he has relations with another woman. Yeah. Okay? What's the punishment of this in the Old Testament? It's a stoning. Good. Okay. So, when, when they come to him with the, this Tawrat, right, and they present it to him, the Prophet, what, what's happening is they're covering up verses. That's why Jalalain says that, that, that they're concealing, right? They're concealing certain verses that are talking about the stoning. Why? Because the Jews, and according to our theology, the Jews kind of, they, they reigned back on sort of the gravity well, but of the But what I understood from the verse from our Jalalain, he's point. saying that they're concealing verses referring to Muhammad. That's why Abbas says that as well. Okay, I, I'm verses. referring to the, something else. I'm referring I know, to I know your verse is Tafsir, but the other thing with, not, not the Tafsir, the Hadith, sorry. Yeah. I know your verse is Tafsir. And, and he confirms this Tafsir as well. The problem with the Hadith, that, that same problem with that hadith is, there is a hadith that clearly states that Muhammad was bought a Torah, sets his down, he says, I believe in you and the one who sent Yeah, yeah, you guys, he doesn't say he puts his hand on it, but he, he points to it and says, I yeah, believe, I believe you in you and the one who sent you. revealed you. But the obvious question is, what was a Torah back then? We know what a Torah is, but through history, good, good, the Torah good. was the Old Testament. When the, prophet, when the Prophet says that about this Torah, okay, or whatever, we don't know if it's the full thing. Remember, I told you the story about the man who committed adultery, right? When he's referring to that, he's referring to the injunction of adultery in this verse that this is remember we don't believe all of the of the old testament is corrupted oh sorry the tanakh is corrupted we don't believe that we believe maybe a lot of it is or maybe half of 